Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn the manual therapy skill to deliver the hand behind back movement in patients who complain of loss of shoulder internal rotation due to pain and stiffness. So in this technique we are going to deliver a inferior glide to the glenohumeral joint and we are going to improve the shoulder internal rotation. So to deliver this technique the therapist is going to stand on the same side that needs to be treated. So let's say in this case patient's left side shoulder joint internal rotation is limited. So what the therapist is going to do is, therapist is first going to use the first web space of the left hand which is going to be placed under the axilla in order to stabilize the glenoid cavity and prevent it from depressing downwards. The shoulder is next going to be taken into the available range of internal rotation and the therapist is next going to ask the patient to try and hold at least the thumb of the affected side upper limb with the normal side. And now the web space of the right hand is going to be placed over the cubital fossa and then with a right stance the therapist is going to just drop the body weight down and bend the knees to deliver a inferior glide to the glenohumeral joint. Now with this glide maintained the therapist is going to use his abdomen to push the elbow joint in and at the same time patient can also use the normal side hand to take the affected side upper limb with the hand behind back movement and while maintaining this inferior glide this has to be repeated the hand behind back movement around 6 to 10 repetitions very nice now as the patient's shoulder internal rotation ranges improve with this technique, it will become easier for the patient to grab the affected side wrist with the normal side hand. And then while maintaining the same glide, we are going to ask the patient to pull the affected side upper limb inwards as well as upwards. So the technique is going to look something like this. With the left hand, we are going to stabilize the scapula. With the right hand, we are going to deliver the inferior glide to the glenohumeral joint. And using the abdomen, we are going to push the elbow in and patient is going to take it inwards and upwards. Six sets of six to 10 repetitions are going to be enough to produce considerable improvements in the shoulder internal rotation ranges. Do try this manual therapy technique and provide us your valuable feedback. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.